Hello and welcome to the Clean and Tidy Tea Break. My name is Penny Moises and I am the founder of the Clean and Tidy Home Show. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Kerry from Scrubbies. Um, I'm going to hand straight over to um, Kerry to do a quick introduction. Hi Penny, oh, and thanks for having me. It's really exciting to talk to you. Um, yeah, I'm Kerry, I'm originally from Edinburgh. I am almost 45 years old. <laughs> Uh, I live in North Wales though with my son Jamie who is 11 and this is where I run Scrubbies from, literally the chair that I'm sat talking to you today. Amazing and can you tell us what are Scrubbies? Well they are, it's a bit of a mouthful but they are a home compostable alternative to the plastic sponge. So what we have here is um, one of about 80, 90 different designs that I have, these are puffins which I love. They are made with organic cotton, so the fabric on the top. The inks used to print the organic cotton have been tested for harmful substances as well. Organic cotton thread, which is really important because polyester thread doesn't biodegrade and people don't often ask about it. Uh, they are lined with a bamboo, which is naturally antibacterial and bamboo is also um, naturally organic as well. They don't need pesticides and it grows super fast. And on the back, we have like a duked hessian uh, and that gives it this scrubby layer again fully compostable so once you use these uh, which you can use for three to 12 months uh, put them in the washing machine as many times as you like even the dishwasher they go in uh, and once they're finished with you simply cut them up and put them in the compost or if you're like me just throw them in the hedge <laughs> if you're less organized um, yeah and you can use them for washing up general cleaning scrub yourself wash the dog, um, I sell them to equine companies for washing horses, um, yeah anywhere that you would normally use a sponge or a cloth and they're scrubby but they're not scratchy so they're not as abrasive as you would think so once they're wet they're very pliable. Um, I absolutely love them, I will never buy a plastic sponge again, uh, I'm, yeah I stand by my scrubbies. Yeah. And am I right in thinking Carrie that you've won a few awards for scrubbies? I have, yeah. So last year was an exciting year. It was the first time I ever entered an award. Um, I, until that point, I sort of felt like a just a mum that was running a little business, and that was the first time that I thought, Do you know what? I wonder if I wonder how I would get on if I entered an award. I feel like I've done something really good. Um, yeah. And last year I won the uh, Small Business Britain, so I won the Best Sole Trader, and then out of the winners, like the Best in Show at Crafts. Um, I won the small business of the year. Um, it was so exciting, except they came live to my house and I live in a row of semi-derelict houses. <laughs> um, so it looks a bit like sort of the Bay Route of North Wales. Um, <laughs> it was a bit like, no, everyone's gonna see where I, where I live in my tiny little terraced house. Um, yeah, that was exciting. And then um, through the National, which is a Welsh newspaper, so I won product of the year at their environmental awards. And that was really exciting because that was pretty much just scrubbies as a product that was being judged so rather than the do you know a single mom and the my story and my journey to get here it was you know just assessing my product if you like and that was really good so I was very proud of those uh, yeah so it's been it's been very busy congratulations um you touched a little bit there on your your story I'd love to hear a bit more about um how you started your business and what drove you to do that yeah, so about the so, um, end of 2018, um, I'd had to move house uh, suddenly um, and my car broke down and just those two expensive disasters quickly got me to a point where I had to use a food bank for the first time. I didn't even know where the food bank was and it was I quickly catapulted into that situation. I'm a single parent and it was devastating to be honest. You'd expect that when you're a lot younger and you're finding your way in life, but to be a you know almost 45 I'm like oh my goodness how have I got to this situation uh, and a friend of mine has a shop up in Scotland and she said if you can make a product that I can sell in my shop I will buy it from you it has to be sustainable it has to have an environmental impact and this is the kind of cost that I would sell it for um because we need to make it accessible to everyone um yeah so I without much you know um looking around and seeing what products there were i literally stumbled upon an unsponge and that was the first one i wonder if i went to look at 20 more things i'd probably come up with 20 other products but i stuck on the unsponge i looked at what was out there there's lots of sustainable reusable items but i thought why can't we make them so you can compost them so that they completely disappear afterwards 
Um, and yeah, and that was the, the premise. I started researching materials, fabrics. There's so much greenwashing out there. It's a minefield and you really have to look behind the sales advertising um, and find out, you know, what they're saying this is good for the environment. What's the motivation for that? Is somebody making money there or is it genuinely? Like, you have to trace these things right back to find out um, where they've originated from. Um, yeah, and I made, I remember making my first scrub A and I put, so I have like a zigzag of stitching. I put the zigzag of stitching on my first one after about a hundred different prototypes. Um, and I was like, that's it, that's the one. Um, and so I did my wholesale order to that little shop in Scotland. And since then, in three years, I've sold uh, around about 90,000 of these now, which I still work from my living room. Uh, but I do retail and wholesale as well. So I, and the pricing of those, again, is really, I've kept my accessibility and affordability, not just for retail, but also for wholesale. So I can support other little businesses who don't have big cash flows like me, you know, in the same situation as I was in. Um, yeah, and it's just been a like a runaway train since then. I'm now wholesaling across the UK and Europe. Um, yeah, and just trying to find a sustainable way to expand manufacturing without having to put my prices up. So that's, that's where I am now, but yeah, it's very busy. So Kerry, um, why does our Shine Not Shane uh, campaign resonate with you? I think it's an incredible, um, you know, a campaign to have highlighting the fact that um, what it does for me coming from poverty and coming from like you don't feel very empowered when you're in poverty and even something as simple as, you know, buying a, a cleaning pad rather than a really cheap plastic sponge um, to be able to have something like that that's affordable uh, for me is is great. It, it doesn't really matter what your circumstances are. We can all make a bit of a difference. And I think we need to sort of stand up and, you know, rather than shaming people, even someone, for example, who has a cleaner, you know, that is still, that's that you can still own that. I would love to have a cleaner and I wouldn't not do it because, you know, I would feel ashamed about that. And the same way as we're really busy as well. And a single mum again, we don't often have time to have these immaculate, hinch homes I would love to I you know I, I like going around department stores and pretending that's my house because it's so clean and um clean and tidy uh, yeah I think um yeah there's no shame in in you know your financial circumstances there's no shame in uh, how much cleaning you do and how pivotal that is and how important it is in your life um we're all at different levels and we all aspire you know to to be better or to you know be cleaner or tidier um, and I think it's it's cool if people can just all come together and go you know this is my truth this is my reality I'm not ashamed about it but and that's the looking forward to the clean and tidy home show coming up in October that's what's exciting about that it's, a, it's lots of different people from lots of different backgrounds who have lots of different standards if you like for how they live their lives and to be able to have that safe space where everyone can come together and and we're all the same and we're all different and we should celebrate that that we you know um, we are who we are and we should shouldn't make any apologies for that and we should support each other here here <laughs> very well put um so you mentioned the clean and tidy home show which takes place at excel london on the 8th and 9th of october we are absolutely delighted to have you um exhibit with us and would love to know what people can expect from you at the show you can expect me to be talking to absolutely everyone about complete nonsense, which is what I do best. Um, yeah, I just can't wait to go. I'll be there with as many scrubbies as I can muster and um, make. So I'll be there exhibiting and selling scrubbies. You'll be able to come and pick up uh, scrubbies to take away and um, try them out yourself. Um, super cheap they are as well. So it's, they're on a par with a plastic sponge. So um, when you look at the life of them, um, yeah, and just to talk to, you know, the other exhibitors, I want to get really excited about sustainability, for example. For me, that's a, a, a big thing. And I think when you get these gatherings of, you know, exhibitors with the public as well, people are there because we're all really excited about it. I think cleaning and cleaning products and home based products generally, there's a lots of ways that we can improve. And perhaps in ways that we didn't think, you know, it's a great way to share knowledge and have a chat with everyone that's there. So I'm, I'm just excited 
I'll probably forget that I'm even there selling scrubbies. I'm just excited to go and meet everyone and chat all about it and get to share my story. And hopefully that can resonate with some other people um, who either want to start a small business or who've been struggling or a single parent or don't get much time for cleaning. Do you know, I'd love to. So yeah, I, I can't wait to meet people. So if anyone's there and they see the scrubby stand, uh, come and say hi to me. Brilliant. We're really, really looking forward to seeing you there, Kerry. Um, just want to take the opportunity to thank you for your time today. It's been really great to hear from you, um, see some of your scrubbies, hear your story. Um, and yes, uh, really, really looking forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. And it's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, so much for listening. Um, hope that you will join us on our next tea break soon. Take care.